Hello everyone and welcome back to Actually, the series that screws at your brain whether you like it or not. Not sorry, isn't this what you came for? Actually challenges your view of the world one object at a time. In this episode, we question tongs. You heard me right, tongs. The shiny sticks that help you grab stuff and make cool noises. You may have thought that they were only good for holding food a foot away from you or scaring people with the sound of them snapping, but they are infinitely more useful than that. In today's Actually question, we figure out if they have hidden potential as weapons of war. First, some definitions. Tongs are metal sticks that are held together by some kind of spring or fey magic and have scoop things on the end. Think of two spoons stapled together except you can adjust the distance between the two scoop things and the Lord of the Shining Dawn and all that screams in the twilight won't get mad at you for defying the will of the gods by creating an unholy object. You use them for holding food and scaring your siblings, especially when grilling or handling hot stuff that you can't just stab with a fork because it keeps trying to roll away from you. I'm looking at you, corn. Martial weapons are weapons that you use when fighting someone. This no longer includes butter knives, which were banned from use in war during the secret Second Geneva Convention that was held following the War of the Seven Orcs. I am uh, currently receiving news from my definitely not imaginary associate that the secret Second Geneva Convention and the War of the Seven Orbs that preceded it did not happen in this reality. Shows me for swallowing that trilobite fossil last week. Probably should have provided a disclaimer in that video about the side effects of swallowing fossils. Like involuntary dimension shifting. Oops. Examples of martial weapons include swords, bayonets, bows, guns, morning stars, this cool stick I found, the floating rocks of doom, and anything you can think of that can injure someone else. By this definition, almost anything can be a martial weapon, though not necessarily a good or useful martial weapon. You may think that tongs would fall in the category of why in toast would I use this as a weapon, but I'm here to prove you wrong. A lot of weird stuff can be weapons, depending on what that stuff is made of, and if it'll be used for ranged or melee combat. Metal and rock are good for melee weapons, as they need to be able to take the force of smacking a thing into someone. Melee weapons are meant for close combat, like swords, scimitars, daggers, and things you can use at close range. Ranged weapons can require less strong materials, unless you're making a bow. Bows need to be made of something that can handle being stretched and bent to release a projectile. Wood and fiberglass are good for ranged weapons, as they are in stiff like metal and rock are. Ranged weapons, as you probably guessed, are for long-range attack, like throwing spears, crossbows, rocks, and other things that are aerodynamic and can be thrown or fired. Now that I've explained weapons to the point that you've probably gotten bored of this video, let's get into the question. Are tongs actually the best martial weapon? First, what makes up tongs? They usually contain a spring and two sticks with a spoon-shaped thing on the ends for holding stuff. They're typically made of metal or plastic, metal being obviously more durable and capable of doing more damage than plastic. So if we were to use tongs as a weapon, we would be using metal ones. Next, are they melee or ranged? Because they're pretty bulky and not very aerodynamic, ranged is probably out of the question. So they would be a melee weapon. The weapon would probably be good for bludgeoning, especially if the edges were made sharp. In a pinch, it could be used similarly to a morning star or a club. Most tongs I have seen in the field are light and easy to carry, so they would not be great in terms of damage or reach. They could grab someone and maybe pinch them? I know what you're probably thinking. How could tongs be the best martial weapon if they don't do much damage and can't reach that far? Well, because you can get creative with them. You know those things that people use to get things from a distance, those grabby sticks? Tongs are the cooking version of those and now the weapony version too. Imagine the possibilities of bringing these into battle. You could snap them to intimidate the enemy, or take someone's weapon from them, or accidentally tangle it in their hair and force them to retreat. There are just so many options. So there we are. Tongs aren't just for food, but for bloodshed. Murder wisely, my acolytes. I've been Raina Dunaptis, currently perceiving the void. Like and subscribe if you want more jokes, don't subscribe if you're afraid of the truth, and bury dead bodies six feet beneath a dead animal to throw police off. In my next video, I'll be telling you about my incredible caution tape invention that you should totally buy. I'll see you next time.